Hi guys, so I'm just doing a quick video for you on queen rearing and the equipment that you need or don't need, as the case may be. Um, there's lots of different ways to do it. There is all of the equipment under the sun. You can buy complete queen rearing kits, um, which cost you a fortune. Or you can go to the method uh, over here, which I'll show you soon, where you don't need to have any equipment other than a beehive with a uh, um, knife, sharp knife preferably. There's a couple of things that you can do that way so um, I will leave that for a little bit later. But the equipment that I use, because that's the easiest way for me to, um, to do it, is I bought this from uh, Farmlands. So this little frame here, little uh, cup holder, is I think it's JZBZ but it's from Farmlands. The, um, this piece here, it was under $10. Um, I think I got four of them because I thought I might ruin them or break them or, you know, I always like to just buy lots of stuff for no reason. Um, and then you can buy these cup holders here that go in them. So there's, these ones just, you fit in, so they go flat and then you just twist them around and then they don't fall out. So they're really good. I really like this system. You graft... Um, I just graft like that, so lay the frame, frame flat, um, put my cups in. I only put 10 on a frame, you can put 15 on a frame and you can put two frames worth, but I just go with um, 10, I don't need very many queens at a time, can't cope with very many queens at a time, so 10 on that, um, and it's just screwed onto the frame, oh, sorry, you can see it that way, just screwed onto the frame, um, so that it's loose enough that I can twist it around um, to do my grafting. Uh, easy to graft when it's flat like that. So that's how I do those ones. That's really easy, so not expensive at all. Um, these bars, as I say, under $10, I think, to be honest, I think they were like 4 or $5, not very expensive at all. These little Jazzy Beasy cups are about 20 something cents from Farmlands. Um, you can reuse them, you can boil them and sterilise them and do things. I tend to just throw them out once I've used them. Um, so that's the method I use. Then the other method, if you don't want to buy these bars, um, you can just buy these cups. Um, and the method that I have seen people use is, so this is a you know a standard frame, empty. Um, melt some beeswax, um, put a blob of it on the top of your frame, uh, put your cup onto the frame and wait till it wait till the wax sets and then uh, obviously you would turn the frame up this is going to fall off because it's not waxed on although oh yeah that's gonna <laughs> didn't sound that long um so you can either do like on a full frame like this one or you can and I have seen it done where people have just taken the the rest of the frame is gone and they're just using this top bar so um and then that's actually quite easy just to have the top bar and you just have the um the um, cups on the top bar. I label my one with a queen graft, um, so I know which is the queen grafted frame. Um, I've got queen graft A, queen graft B, because I um, usually have two grafting frames going at the same time, or sometimes have two grafting frames going at the same time. So that's a really easy, um, relatively cheap method uh, for the method where you just gluing them onto there with your beeswax um, the only cost you have is the 20 cents for the cups so if you're doing 10 it's going to cost you two dollars that's pretty cheap uh, you will need a grafting tool these grafting tools here these are called the Chinese grafting tools that one's really old and been um, but anyway this is the Chinese grafting tool that I use um, I really like these ones you just push down so you scoop your little um, your larvae out with this tip here um, and then you when you squeeze down it pushes the larvae often into the um, into the queen rearing cup so these are really good um, I had a look on Aliexpress they are you can get 10 for under four dollars which is pretty cheap um, probably try and get the bamboo ones these ones are plastic I think and they're fine they work okay but the bamboo ones are better um, but yeah, $4 for 10 and it's free shipping. Uh, you just have to wait for about six weeks for them to come though. That's the only thing. Um, I also bought this off AliExpress. Um, I've never used it. I wanted to try it because some people like these ones. Um, I've got used to using the Chinese grafting tool. So I've never had to, never really want 
tempted to try this one. I might give it a go though. So this one's a little, you just sort of hook the little larvae up and you put it in the bottom of the cup. Some people prefer this, some people like the grafting, the Chinese grafting tool. Other people use a really fine art brush, um, which is pretty easy to get if you don't have a beekeeping class that you can go to. Uh, just go into an art store and get a really fine art brush and people use that. I know there's a commercial um, person in Hamilton here who that's her preferred method. So there's your grafting equipment that you need. These you don't need any of this stuff but this is just additional stuff that um, I like to use. Um, so I really like these cages, the queen cages. So if you have got 10 queens on your cell frame here um, and it's a really horrible weather and you don't get to make up your nukes and you don't get to make you know you've, you've got 10 queens hatching tomorrow you can whip in and put these around each um, cell sorry should be doing this so you have your queen uh, comes out you know come down here you just put your queen and that over the queen cell on the graft and then if they emerge they won't go out and kill each other they'll just um, come into this cell cage and um, if it's raining you've got an extra couple of days or day or so to sort yourself out um, also sometimes uh, they do emerge a little bit early like a day early sometimes so it's always a good idea just to have that on each of them um, this queen cage also comes with its own queen rearing system and I bought that off AliExpress, so um, I've used it once, it's okay, I'm not overly fussed on it. So this queen, this bit here, sorry, I'm trying to do it all one-handed, this piece here sits on your cell bar. So you're going to sit up. So you nail it on, I've never worked out quite how you get tiny weeny nails to get it to stay on, but you nail it on, then this piece goes on top so this will be as a permanent fixture on this bar then this piece goes on top and this little bit here sits in there like that and you're grafting into uh, that little cup there so that's pretty easy it's that was relatively cheap as well um, and then sorry again trying to do it with one hand um, once you've got that grafted that actually that whole system actually goes together so that sits on there you can take the queens out when they're cells and um, sell them to people like that or put them uh, in a new hive obviously you wouldn't want to put the whole cage although I've done this I've, I've put the queen cell in and prote to protect the queen I've put the whole cage in like that left this piece undone and then the queen can emerge and, um, and then come out and the bees don't sting them through here uh, the other option that you have is if you have a queen cell um, and you don't have, you haven't bought the cages, you can just pop, this is um, hose, this is one, I got some off a commercial um, queen rearer here in Hamilton and um, this is what she puts over hers, so you can actually see the queen cup is in the bottom there and I can't get it out, but um, so you just have that and... So it's just hose, so you just have to get hose that's going to fit over whatever you have done. Um, and now no, nothing can get to the queen, the queen cell. So the queen will emerge, will climb out, and um, will hopefully be accepted by your hive. So that's pretty easy. The other thing I have, I these are the ones that I use. So I have my queen cup. Um, I have these little cages that I bought off AliExpress as well. They just sit over... They don't fit properly because they go don't go with that system. But when you've got a wax um, queen cell, you just pop that over and the queen cell is protected. Nothing will sting through that. Um, and the queen just emerges through the end. So pretty simple. Uh, that's if you've had a, a queen cell that's emerged and you want to introduce her to a hive, you've got your ca um, queen cages. So these come with candy. Well, this one's got candy in the end of it. Um, you pop the queen, so you have it slightly open. You pop the queen in there with some attendants, close it up, uh, take the plug out of the end of it, and you pop that in the hive, and the bees will 
eat the candy and release the queen over a couple of days. So they're the sort of more expensive versions um, of queen rearing. The other really cheap method, um, and this one I have used and it works quite well, is you get uh, Dowling, you might have tanned Bunnings, any of those places. Um, so you get wooden towel, dowels. I'll do, I'll do a video on how to do this later. Um, you soak these in water um, and then you melt wax and you just dip it into the, the dowel into the wax and pull it out. You do that about three times and you end up with these little queen cups. Um, you have to be a little bit careful with these because they are wax so they're a little bit fragile. But they're quite little um, and then you just wax these um, with melted wax onto the top bar of your frame again um, and you graft into those. A uh, little bit more fiddly but we'll have a go at um, doing a video on that later. And the really cheap method where you don't need any equipment at all other than your frame and um, a knife. So this frame is one that I took out of one of my hives. It got a little bit of, um, I didn't put it in the freezer so it got a bit of wax moth um, in it and it's been bashed around since I, I, once it got the wax moth I chucked it in the freezer. It's been bashed around a bit and I cut the wax moth damaged piece out. So uh, this has actually got a wire through it. It's an ideal probably if you don't have wire. I don't know if you, you probably can't see the wire. But anyway, to do a queen rearing uh, thing without any equipment at all, what you do is if you have eggs, like you might have eggs through this part of your frame, generally well, often they won't lay eggs in these little or shallower cups, but you just go in where you've got eggs. Sorry, this is not going to work very well. In this frame, oh, that's a wire. This um, wax is not very good because it's um, been frozen and not great. But anyway, so this is the example. This is what I'm going to show you. So what you do is you've got eggs through here, all this part. So you just cut zigzags. That's going to break it. Anyway, so you just cut zigzags like that. Um, and there, there is a proper name for this method, but don't ask me what it is. I'm not very um, into remembering names for doing things, but anyway. So if you've got eggs through here, what the, what the bees will do is they will draw the egg that's in this one because you've damaged it. They will draw that down into a queen cell. So you'll get a big queen cell sitting right here. You may get another queen cell from this cell here. They may draw that down and you'll get a queen cell there. You might get one from over this side. You might get one from down here. So if you do this across an entire frame, um, you will probably end up with, I don't know, 10 queen cells along there. You can, because this is... Um, you can cut them out later. So if you get 10 queen cells across that way, you can cut out a queen cell and use that and put that in a new hive um, just like you would one of the grafted ones. Um, so this method is actually really, really simple. It's the cheapest method that you can come across. So this, once you've done this with your frame, you can see the um, wire there. Once you've done this with your frame, you pop it in a queenless hive, um, preferably a really strong hive so if you have um, a hive that you're about to split um, take the the top box with the queen and put it away somewhere different pop this frame here with your jug jagged cuts in the original position in the hive uh, so the, the hive that's in the original position all the field bees come back there will be um, nurse bees there still and they will feed these queens they'll produce the royal jelly that feeds these queens and then from there you will end up with queen cells you should be able to see queen cells being formed within a couple of days of popping something like this in certainly with um, using this method here you can tell whether a um, cell has been accepted uh, see these ones here have got a little bit of wax around the inside usually that means the cell's been accepted in this case I'm not 100% sure what happened because this one here, I know was accepted because it's got royal jelly in it, but then the cell died, so I'm not sure quite what happened um, with that. 
but generally within a couple of days you can tell that the cells have been accepted and that you have got a good graft um, or in this case not a good graft but you know you've got accepted cells so that's the basics of it um, some expensive ways of grafting or not even that, uh, that expensive but you don't actually need any equipment to rear queens other than what you've got in a sharp knife so I will do a couple more videos later and let you know um, or show you how I do it and other methods that I've seen and I'll show you one of my hives that I've grafted into last week um, I've actually sorry that wasn't last week the the virgins emerged last week and so now I've got the queens that are out doing their mating flights and hopefully I will have some mated queens to show you um, yeah so that's the start I will do another couple of these just to give you a bit more information Okay, see ya.